What's going on, everyone? Today, I would like to discuss how to tie together your new Wave mic from Elgato, the Wavelink software, NVIDIA broadcast if you have a NVIDIA RTX card, the voice mod software if you want to use voice mod, and OBS. So let's get into it. With the latest 1.4 update, Wavelink now allows you to add your own VSTs to your mic. These are the three that I have. I'm not going to get into the configurations or settings because this is all personal preferences and there's tons of information on this online. But I am running a noise suppression, a de-esser, and an equalizer. So those are the only three I'm running. So once you're in Wavelink, click on your mic. Make sure you have these three audio enhancements clicked. These are just some extra added value that you have within the Wavelink software and Elgato recommends checking. So naturally I will. Then I will make sure I am muting to myself and muting to the stream because we don't want this mic triggering to our stream output. Step two, let's get into NVIDIA Broadcast. Once you have NVIDIA Broadcast download, you wanna make sure you have the Wavelink microphone FX. The FX part, make sure that the mic that's being pulled in and the cable that's being pulled in is the one that has your VSTs. If you don't want that and you don't want the VSTs included, you can always just check the mic in Elgato Wave 3 and that will just be your default mic. Once you have that, click effects, make sure you have noise removal checked. And for me, I'm just bumping that strength all the way up, but find your preference and go from there. Step three, you're gonna then route your NVIDIA broadcast mic into voice mod. So now that you are able to pull in all the fancy and funny voice lab and soundboard items that you have. So once you're in voice mod, click settings. Make sure your input is set to microphone NVIDIA broadcast because you want it coming from your last source. And then your output, we're just going to use the Wavelink system for now. Then once you have that, you can then start to see all the funny little voice is that I can now easily do by just a click of the button on my stream deck. And now this is all properly routed into OBS. So now I'm in a cave. And now I'm in a monster. And the beauty is now if I'm in this weird voice, I can still clap. And none of that comes through the mic thanks to my NVIDIA broadcast. Let's turn that weird voice off and get back to our clean one. So one issue that I was running into with voice mod is anytime I would trigger my change of voice, and it would go back into Wavelink and into my stream output, there was a major lag issue with my voice, and it sounded very robot -y, but it was not the robot, robot voice mod. So there was a ton of digital interference happening, and how I solved that was within OBS, you would just then add your mic as an input, and then the voice game chat, which would be the stream output. So if I go into properties, we'll see here, this is just the Wavelink stream. And then the properties here is now my microphone voice mod virtual audio device. So that's coming from this. So basically what's happening is you go into your Wave mic, apply the VSTs, then go into NVIDIA Broadcast, take out any background noise that's not needed and just concentrate on your voice. Then route that into your voice mod. Currently, I have just a clean voice running just to make my voice hopefully sound better than what it does, but I can easily then trigger my other voice mods and or just turn it off. And then once that happens, it'll go straight into OBS with no lag and no interference. And if this was helpful and you guys enjoyed the content, let's smash that like button, smash the subscribe button. And if you run into any other issues or have any problems with this setup, let me know in the comments below.